Hello viewers, we're here to discuss about the Ectus. Electronic Chart Display and Information System Ectus Other navigational equipment are connected to the Ectus. Gyro compass and autopilot are inside this unit. GNSS or Global Navigation Satellite System, GPS Global Positioning System is an example. Speed log. Radar ARPA, Automatic Radar Plotting Aid AIS, Automatic Identification System Echo Sounder Anemometer and wind vane. Navtex. And others. What is the significance of ECTIS in navigation? ECTIS facilitates easier navigation, achieving maximum output and minimum wasted effort. The information from other navigational equipment is processed easier with the ECTIS helping the user in his navigation and decision making. The Actis reduced the workloads of the bridge team, but beware of circumstances which could lead to dangerous situations. So, always put in mind the disadvantages of the Actis. Actis requirements. It is a mandatory carriage requirement under SOLAS Convention, Chapter 5, Regulation 19.2.10. It complies with the SOLAS Convention, Chapter 5, Regulation 27, regarding electronic navigation charts or ENCs. Actis installed must be approved by SOLAS Chapter 5, Regulation 18. It must conform to the IMO performance standards under Resolution MSC.23282. There must be an independent backup arrangement under SOLAS Chapter 5, Regulation 19.2.1.4. The ECTIS can be used without the paper chart. An ECTIS complying with the SOLAS regulations can meet the requirement to replace paper chart compulsory requirement under SOLAS. This is commonly called paperless or paper-free. 
the flag state administration sets the requirements for allowing or not to use the ACTUS as a primary means of navigation. Paper chart ACTUS Thank you for watching. This is it for now. Wait for the next lesson. Enjoy learning!